Hi, this is Eli sir. I am going to explain how to install Ubuntu in Mac M1 processor. Mac M1 processor is ARM architecture processor, whereas Windel, uh, pro uh, Windows processor or uh, uh, AMD processors x86 architecture. So the normal virtual box uh, VMware uh, virtualization software will not work uh, in a M1 processor. For M1, we, we need uh, some other virtualization uh, software. So you please um, download the software UTM virtualization software for Mac M1. You please type UTM for M1 Mac. So you will be directed to this website get UTM.app. Click that. See this is the download. You have to click and download this software, this virtualization software. I have already downloaded so I'll open that okay so first download uh, this one and then um, for Ubuntu also uh, AMD architecture Ubuntu is different ARM architecture Ubuntu is different so you have to download Ubuntu um, for Mac M1 download you please search search like this ubuntu for mac m1 download you will be directed to ubuntu.com ubuntu for arm so this website you have to go ubuntu server for arm so you please click this link and download arm for ubuntu okay so i have downloaded both uh, utm as well as uh, ubuntu 20.04 version arm architecture iso file Okay, now we'll um, go to this uh, virtualization software, UTM. Okay, so now click create new virtual machine, click virtualize, click Linux. Okay, now this boot image, click browse, select, um, select this uh, Ubuntu, Ubuntu. 20.0.4 live server ARMR. This already downloaded. Click open. Okay, click next. It is asking um, for the memory size. So I feel uh, 2 GP is enough. The RAM size is enough for Ubuntu. Click next. And this is a memory storage. 64, it is given as default. I feel 32 is enough maximum. That it is more enough for. Uh, uh, Ubuntu data to store click next and um, if you want to share any directory you can but this is not necessary click next and this is a summary of details name engine architecture these are the values automatically taken by this Mac 1 processor now click save you see Linux QEMU 6.2 ARM virtual machine now we'll start the virtual machine start boot option so here there are many options you click uh, install ubuntu server yeah it is coming connecting yeah here you select english language done most of the uh, configuration you leave as uh, default done 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 move the cursor to down done done asking continue sir no continue give your name my name is eliza my server name i am giving as mlizer i am going to give the user name as mlizer so it is better to give the server name as something else otherwise server name username E-L-I-A-Z-E-R my username is Eliza my name is Eliza my sorry server name and my name so you give any name okay you are user and give password also this password you need uh, when you log in to Ubuntu click down done install click done 
move the cursor down 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 to done started installing you see installing kernel if you want to see the full locker what is going on in the installation you please view lock you see this is the installation step by step installation logging is displayed if you don't want close it it will it will be waiting here view full lock is there to see the full lock it will take some time okay depends upon the network uh, internet speed this installation takes time now installation over updation is going on my internet speed is somewhat uh, good so it is installing very fast sometimes you may you may you have to wait more time depends on the internet speed audition addition yeah updation is over you see the status at the bottom now we get the option reboot now we are going to uh, reboot the, the installation is over so we are going to reboot so we are getting the blinking sign because uh, so in our uh, boot uh, file we have given the boot image image in our cd drive cd dvd iso image so that we have to e eject Jacked it. Okay, now it is not there. Okay, now what do you do? You place a restart. I think this is the button. Yeah, restart the virtual machine. Click OK. Start boot option. Now it is booting up. What we installed is uh, we installed uh, Ubuntu server um, in a command line uh, inter interface. So my login name M E L I A Z E R my login name and give you a password. Yeah, see we have uh, get into the um, login. So this is the command uh, command line interface only. If you want. Uh, 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 GUI graphical user interface please install the GUI okay. sudo apt install task cell so this is the TASK task SEL cell they are asking password you give the password they are asking yes or no give yes yeah it is getting the yeah, it is installed. So now, you please uh, update uh, the installation. Sudo apt get apt hyphen get apt get update. Updation is over. Execute sudo task zil task install ubuntu hyphen desktop sudo task gel install ubuntu hyphen desktop so this is installing uh, our desktop so ubuntu desktop yeah it has almost retrieved all the files 989 files has been retrieved <coughs> now it is installing the packages for GUI GUI Ubuntu Ubuntu desktop
yeah almost 99 percentage installed yeah it is installed now now we return back to the um, command prompt okay now i am going to reboot the ubuntu sudo one minute sud sudo reboot click enter starting from the beginning after the desktop installation we will be getting the gui interface just wait it is getting up yeah we can maximize this window yeah. so this is my login i am giving the password So I don't want any other uh, setups. Click next. Click next. And uh, this better uh, deselect something. Yeah, I don't want to send the system information. This you click no. Uh, click uh, next. Click next. And then okay, everything is over. Now you can uh, uh, work with this. This is the uh, Ubuntu environment. Okay, you can go to the terminal if you want to type some commands. Okay, pwd present working directory okay i'm going to uh, create one file using cat command cat greater than f1 f1 what does this f1 is ah. okay something i'm typing press control d yeah clear the screen uh, cat f1 it is displayed okay so, so everything will be open okay there is an updater update is ready if you want you can update it thank you for watching this video